This is Twit. So, what should we talk about today, kids? I'm getting the new Android phone from Microsoft tomorrow. That's pretty cool. The Google Duo. Ooh. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to come with Android 11, which came out yesterday. So I haven't gotten that. Well, you could get it. Just uh, you have a Pixel, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just go to yeah, your just updates. Force an update. Yeah. You don't have to force it. Just I always have I to didn't force guess. an update. I'm just going to wait to see how soon I get it. Since it rolled out yesterday, I said, let me just see how fast I'll get it. Does it? Hey, did I get it? I never, I never wait. So I don't know. So it will tell you eventually, oh, you have an update? Mm -hmm. Eventually, it just auto updates. Oh, okay. And then you'll pick up your phone, you'll enter your pin, and then it'll be like, by the way, Over now you reboot. this. <laughs> Yeah, that's really, that's one thing I don't like. So I say, okay, check for update. It says it's update. I say update it. And it says, I'll update it when you're not using your phone. <laughs> yeah. The only it reason actually, I'm using my phone is to update it. Mine actually offered me the chance to, it was like, you have an update. Do you want to schedule it for 1 oh, a.m. Nice. in the morning? That is nice. And I was like, thanks, Google. Thanks, Google. So oh, I always forget, do where that. do I get to it? System? Yeah, it's weird. It's, you, you have to dig for it, believe it or not. There it is. There yeah, it is. Yeah, it's not in immediately obvious system, and then you have to do advanced, and then at the bottom, system update. So I remember on the show, we used to get so excited. We'd, we'd all spend the it's whole show so trying for an update. It's so All the now. new things are coming. Yeah. Oh, boy. It's just the not exciting. The phone book is in. The phone book is in. Well, um, why, why is it not exciting now? Well, what, uh, I know I, why it's not exciting for me, but I want to know I can't why name one new feature that I'm saying, oh, gosh, I got to have Android 11. When was the last time? Yeah. 10 was big because... Well, um, no. Go I, ahead. I feel like there was, like there was, I really like that um, behind the scenes transcription thing, what it live transcribe, I guess mm -hmm. they call it. Mm -hmm. That was new in 10, right? Or was it a pixel? Yeah. Thing? Have you actually used it or you just demo? Oh, I use it a lot. Say, well, wow. You do. Yeah. In fact, sometimes I le just leave it on. I'll tell you why. When I'm watching YouTube videos in bed and I don't want to wake anybody up, I can see the text. Yes. You can also use earphones. You uh, know, mine's telling me that the new features include improved device and media controls. I can manage my conversations in one place. That is a lie, Google. I know it's not true. Um, <laughs> Built-in screen recording. And more privacy controls. It's really not different. I think maybe the one thing that you would like, Stacy, is now you have these scenes that you can do with the Google Assistant. Right. So when you press in the on-off switch, you get the same old choices, you know, emergency, restart, power. But now you'll also see the Google Pay. And at the bottom here, you see these tiles that are home automation scenes. So that's... Yeah, cool. Kevin loves those. Yeah. You have to set them up, and I guess one of these days here, I'll show you on mine. I, I have uh, a couple of things. I don't have Google Pay uh, payment method in here for some reason, but uh, yeah, it's kind of, that's nice. That's easy to get to. Now we're in. Uh, it's true for all the devices and all the computers too. Yep. There, there isn't really anything you gotta. You say, oh God, this is huge. I gotta have this. That's why I'm excited about the Duo because it's a hardware form factor change. Yeah. Software hasn't a, been updated. That's a, in a big while. shift, big, big iteration as far as form factors go. Yeah. yeah. It's not just another candivar size slate of glass. So here's that you know? messages thing that they were talking about, uh, Stacy, which is you'll have you can see if you've got a thread. Oh, it went away. What did I do? I have to refresh, maybe. <laughs> if you've got a thread of messages, you can see each individual oh, thread. Oh, yeah. okay. And then you can control it individually as well. You can say, oh, that's Principal Tobin. That's got to be a priority. That kind of thing. Part of me really would love to, and this is really only an issue with my family and with Kevin, but is to be able to, they're on Google Meet still, or chat, or Hangouts. Hangouts. I don't know what we're using. Uh, Some... We're using Hangouts, and then I'm also texting them, and then go back and forth. I kind of want to be like, show me everything from Kevin, so I can like, because sometimes he sends me stuff, but I don't remember where he sent it. And the same thing with my husband. So, but that's just too hard. <laughs> There's this bubbles thing, which I actually like. Facebook introduced this, but I also have to point out this is a security flaw, and and. Google, which knows it's a security flaw, 
keeps it in because initially because of Facebook and now others. It's the ability of an application to write over other applications. And that allows an application, for instance, to superimpose something over a form. Like, so you think you're at your bank, but instead it's malicious application just stealing the, the login by superimposing something over on top of another one. So you should only allow this if it's something you really trust. The Facebook chat bubbles, and now bubbles, I guess, are in Android messaging. They are not, as far as I can tell, in Hangouts, which is what I still use because I'm a, a Google Fi user. So... But I think on the Duo, I will have to use this. So, But I won't have an Android 11, so it's you can never win. Bubbles are nice. You drag them around. <laughs> you pop them if you, <laughs> if you don't like that person. <laughs> yeah. Capture and share content. Built-in screen recording, finally. I did, so that is surprising because Apple's had that on iOS forever. So you don't need an extra app. You can just record... With sound from your mic, so you can even narrate your uh, your screen recording. That is the feature that excited the hardhead uh, yesterday afternoon. I think it was about one o'clock or so. Our group hangout pinged with <gasps> Android 11 is here, or something like that. He was excited. That's so cute. And he was he was pretty pumped up because he read through it and he saw that feature and was like, "Yes, screen recording!" And it just it really blew my mind to see how that feature excited him in particular. He's, and he's this is a kid that barely talks to me. <laughs> <laughs> but he had to text you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he'll send you some screen recordings if you're really right. Lucky. I know that's yeah. coming. Dad, look what I did. Uh, yeah, I, it just feels like it's all, you know, smart reply, uh, which, of course, we've seen. First, we saw an inbox and we see it in other places. Uh, now, smart reply will happen in your text conversations. There are app suggestions. I don't like that at all. The bottom row of your home screen, see your most used apps on the home screen. Uh, there apparently are better names, better suggestions for folder names when you organize. Jeez, oh, I mean, like, who, come on, who really? was the product manager with that? Stuck with really? that one? Yeah, I, I just, I feel like the problem is it's done. Yeah. And there's not yeah. much more can to you do. Imagine, can you imagine what the next phase of a phone should be? It shouldn't be a phone.